If you have a Sony full frame camera that came out in the past three, four ish years, it has a mode built into it that allows you to swap between full frame mode and APS-C mode, essentially cropping the sensor down to give your full frame camera the equivalent look that it would on a APS-C camera. Now, something I've always wondered about and a question I keep getting asked is, why not just crop in post after the fact opposed to using crop mode on the camera? Is there any big difference? Is it noticeable? So that's what we're gonna take a look at today. Using the a7 III and the 24mm G-Master, I set up two shots, both manually focused in 4K. One in crop mode, one in regular full frame mode. I wanted to use something with text because text should be easy to spot differences in terms of quality, especially around the lettering. I then put both into final cuts and cropped the full frame shot to get the same image that the in-camera crop gives us. It was 150% increase in size in case you're wondering. So I've got it on my iPad right here and we're gonna walk through it together. I'm gonna show you over the top as I'm watching it myself. So the straight 100% side by side, you really can't tell the difference. It's negligible, I don't think you can easily spot the difference. However, if we jump to 500%, you can now start to see this is where the crop mode is actually a little bit better. Just around lettering there, this is exactly why I wanted to use text. It's definitely a little bit more blurry. It's not hugely obvious, but it's definitely a little bit more blurry. Let's uh, let's go to 1000% now. So at 1000%, it's, it's tougher to tell because both are now starting to get a little bit blurry. But if you look at the one on the right, it's more blurry than the one on the left. Now the one on the left is obviously the crop camera. The one on the right is the full frame cropped in post. So 1000%, again, the, uh, the in-camera crop is a little bit better. Now let's go to 2000% where it gets a little bit more interesting. So it's pretty obvious to me that on the right, it's definitely more pixelated. If you look around one of the, uh, the O's there, especially in the middle, on the right hand side, it's a bit more squared off, which shows us that it's more pixelated than on the left, where it's got a little bit more of a curve. It's still squared, but not nearly as badly. What I find interesting is the color change that we now have. So we've got a little bit of almost like purple fringing around some of the letters on the crop mode. I'm not an expert when it comes to this, but I don't know what would cause that. Um, so it's pretty interesting. So in terms of quality, the crop mode is better, but it has fringing and there's some weird things going on there with the color. But I think the biggest point here is that when are you actually going to be cropping in that much. Realistically speaking, you're likely going to be using 100%, maybe a little bit more, but you're never going to be going to 500 or 1000%. So long story short, if you are a pixel peeper, a pixel peeper extraordinaire, shoot in crop mode. But in my opinion, at 100%, it doesn't really matter. There's not really that much of a difference that you can easily spot unless you're zooming in. Now the benefit that I personally see for shooting in crop mode, and it's a tiny little one, but it's if I need that extra zoomed look that I'm getting out of crop mode, it's just easy to do it in camera. I don't have to do anything else in post. It's one tap in camera versus like three clicks in post versus some numbers to punch in whatever percentage I'm going into. So. Should you crop in camera? Should you crop in post? I'll leave it up to you. In my opinion, at 100%, it doesn't really matter. Just a quick video for you today. Something that was starting to make me think, ran some tests, there's the conclusion for you. All right, appreciate you watching. There's some buttons down here you can click if you want to, but I'm not going to force you. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, see you later.